Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about something that is like my favorite thing ever. Games. If you didn't know, I'm a huge game fan. We are a big game schooling family and today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite math games. Grab a cup of coffee or some tea and let's chat. So if you don't know what game schooling is, game schooling is essentially using games as your homeschool curriculum. Now, we obviously have our traditional curriculum that we use regularly, but I am a huge fan of playing games and using games as a way to reinforce those skills that we don't always think of teaching our kids like strategy and cooperation and um, you even get to, to like what I'm talking about today there are so many games that you can use to drive home like reading and math and science and they're just there's so there's a game for pretty much anything and my kids love to play games I have been playing games with them since we started our homeschooling journey four years ago and it is definitely a treasured part of our homeschool all right so first let me put a disclaimer that these games that I use for math are definitely for elementary aged kids. So most of my content is all geared toward elementary and younger because that is the age of my kids. My oldest son is only eight years old. So um, we're still work, you know, we're still working on, you know, addition and subtraction and multiplication, um, those basic things. And you can never, you can never do enough of driving home the basics and there's no better way in my opinion than doing that than with a game. So this first game is a favorite in our house. When we first got this game and started playing it, my kids were, the boys were young. They were four and five um, when they first started playing it and I remember thinking there's no way that they're ever going to be able to do some of these math equations. Like it's just not going to happen. And here we are a few years later and they're doing them without my help. And I'm like, it's working. <laughs> so this game, Sleeping Queens, is one of our all-time favorites. So this game was actually created by a little kid. And um, let's say little kid, but I think she was like nine. And um, it is awesome. So what's great about this game, there are a couple ways that math is involved. And um, not only can you use this for math, but you can also include like your preschoolers and they can play along and it will, can help with number recognition. There's matching, things like that. But for your older kids, uh, you know, I would say kindergarten and up, they can practice their basic adding and subtracting. And then at the end, you can even do uh, like some bigger adding. So during the game, you can discard some of your cards and you discard cards when it's your turn. And a way that you can do that is you can do a math equation. So for instance, if I had these cards, I could do, you know, four plus one equals five. And then you can discard those three cards and you get to pick three new ones. So that is a simple way to do that your kids are doing math when they're playing this game. And it took my, it took my boys a couple years um, because again, we started playing this game when they were young. It says for ages eight and up, but again, I, I think if you if you start playing games with your kids when they're little, uh, you will be amazed at the level of games that they are actually able to play at a very young age. And so um, that's one way that math is involved in this game. And then at the end, when you're adding up your queens, 
you can let them add you know the the big numbers like on a sheet of paper and that really kind of goes for every game like math is in a lot of games if you just let your kids add up the score at the end of the game that's that's math so this is a great game to use for basic addition and it's really fun like me as a parent i really like playing this game Next is kind of an, I, I would say this is an advanced game and it took a little bit of time for my boys to like really grasp the concept, but once they did, this is another favorite, Dragonwood. If you follow me on Instagram, I have talked about this game a lot because it is definitely a favorite around here. So it says on the game, eight and older, um, similar to Sleeping Queens. But again, if you start playing games when, with your kids when they're younger, uh, you will be really surprised. So this one's definitely a little harder for them to like get a grasp on. But once they get, once they get it, then they, they get it. And math, there's a lot of math in this game actually, because every time they roll the dice, First, they have to, depending on, you know, how many dice they get to roll on that turn, they can be adding up to six numbers at a time. And um, I recently have started using that as a way to help my oldest son with some of his multiplication too, because sometimes, you know, he will roll three threes and I'm like, Kaden, what's three times three? math but this game is all around just really fun essentially you are trying to defeat mythical characters like trolls and dragons and it's just it's just a lot of fun like this is another game that I really don't mind playing money bags we love this game. Um, I mean, all kids love playing with money. Um, and this is a really, really easy way to teach your kids about money and how to count money. So um, money is, you know, included as part of our math curriculum. But this really gives them like some hands on experience with counting coins and exchanging, you know, exchanging coins like, um, you know, making 25 cents from a quarter and then making 25 cents with different coins. And this game gives them an opportunity to learn how to do that in a fun way. So here's a picture of the board game. And then it comes with, you know, the, the dollar, the dollars and all of the coins. And this is just another really fun game. If you have a, um, I would say probably fourth grade and younger elementary age kid, this is a great game, great game for kindergarten, first, second, third, uh, some swamp. This one, I hear a crying child. This one really just drives home some basic um, addition and subtraction. And it's just, this is a really simple game, but it's, my boys really like to do it. And it's a sneaky way to do some math. So here's a picture of the board game. And this one is recommended for five and up, but uh, my preschooler, again, We'll play this game with us and it's a really good way to introduce those numbers and introduce counting and just the start of those basics that he will be learning in kindergarten. This is a really good game for your younger kids. So um, my preschooler can get involved with this one and this is Spot It. If you don't know about Spot It, you need to put it in your bag because it is great for when you're like when you're like out and about like waiting at a restaurant or in the car waiting for something I keep one of our spotted in the diaper bag at all times but this one I found and um, it's a way for my preschooler to to play a game with us 
and it is really it's helping him to you know work on recognizing shapes and start recognizing his numbers and we are, I'm all about play-based learning and this is an excellent way to just play a really fun, simple game and expose them to numbers and shapes and to help them master those. The last two games are definitely more advanced. Uh, so I would say that these are probably for second grade and up, second to fifth grade. Um, well, the one game is for adults, uh, but we use it. Uh, we use it for kids. Quicks. This is a huge, huge math game. Um, this is just a really fun adult game. And um, it comes with all of these dice. It is a game. Uh, it's a dice game. Um, there's a lot of adding and, you know, point counting and keeping track of points and it, this is a this is another game right game game right they they make the best games um and in this one they are working on probability they're working on decision making plus math so highly recommend this one for your older kids i tried it this is this is probably one of the exceptions where i'd say like Doing this with your younger kids is really difficult. Um, I tried it with them when they were like five and six and they weren't quite ready for it. Now they are. So um, this is another great one. Finally, uh, the last game that I want to share with you is for your kids if they are working on their multiplication. And it is called Super Genius. So we actually have both sets Super Genius Multiplication 1 and Super Genius Multiplication 2. And um, this is just a really great way to master those multiplication facts. Comes with a deck of cards. And um, there are actually, I think what I, what I really love about these games is they actually give you like a few different games that you can play within the same deck of cards. And this is, this is just another, it's a really fun way to help your kids master those multiplication facts. They have them broken up into um, two different sets. So this is works through two through five, and then this one works on six through nine. Now, of course, like I said earlier, most games you can find some type of math in. Games like Yahtzee, any game where you are keeping score, that is a way for your children to practice math. When we're playing games, like it is, a, you know, we have a tendency as parents to we, we just want to hurry up and like, you know, do everything and like tally the score and like do this for them. But if we let them do that, it is just a really good way to add in some math, some sneaky math, and they just think they're having fun and playing a game, which we are. But if we can sneak in some learning while we're having fun, why not? So those are some of my favorite math games that we use in our homeschool. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I am going to link all of the games that I shared today down below. You can check them out. And if you have some of these games or you have some other favorite math games, please share them down below. I'm always looking to add to our game collection. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay.